can't. <laughs> we live? Oh, yes, are we we're live? live. Yes, we're oh live. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey everybody. everybody. <laughs> Let's get ready to Ben. <laughs> Welcome to Reverse the Verse. It's Friday, uh, November 20th, 2015. I'm your community manager, Jared Huckabee. With me, as always, is your director of community engagement, online strategy, spaceships, and master of disaster now. Thank you for remembering that I am Ben <laughs> Lesnick. <laughs> Our editor, Justin Chambers, if you saw those cool videos in yesterday's live stream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And subscription manager, whoa! Alexis Lesnick. <laughs> NSFW. It's not even the weekend yet. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. How are you? We're good. We're all fine here. <laughs> Nothing weird. All right. Uh, ben, um, what'd you do this week? <laughs> a heck of a lot. Um, Gosh, it's hard to believe, but a week ago, we were just getting back from Austin with our uh, fried brains. Um, and since then, we put on a little live stream, launched a little sail, made a couple of spaceships, and, uh, you know, 2.0. Um, yeah, it's been a good week. Yes, uh, it's been a very I haven't very even long... been here. I was, I was homesick yes. uh, for several days, but I was still working on yes. Skype. We held the fort down. Uh, yeah, no, it all went great. Um, gosh, what else did we do this week? Packed up. Yeah. Yes. This is, uh, I know last time we said that it would be the last <laughs> RTV from the old office, but we are gosh darn dirty liars. Um, never say never. Um, just like a terrible CIG boss, lied. Uh, CIG lied. CIG lied. But this today is really our last RTV from the old office. You can see our, uh, our posters are gone. Um, if you can see the other room, it's just all boxes full of cables that are all video guy bought for some reason. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they, they're shutting off our computers at four o'clock. Uh, yeah. Look, we're in moving. This is where we're keeping the couch. <laughs> Look at that. It's a good place for that. I still have work to do before I move that couch. <laughs> yes. Um, of course, it was a it was a pretty fantastic Star Citizen week. We uh, we launched the Archimedes. We launched the Crucible. I am so proud to have the Crucible out there. It looks like we actually the repair stuff is great. Um, I've got a uh, I've got an email in my inbox right now from Top Happy saying, "Yeah, everybody loved this. What can we show off next? Uh, should we do piracy?" Or uh, he has a whole list of stuff they're working on right now. Um, so more design coming. Um, but uh, gosh, I hope you guys like the uh, I hope you guys like the Crucible. Uh, it's a pretty cool ship. Um, Avenger variants, flyable in 2.0, um, and of course the march to 2.0 for everybody begins now. We're gonna have a little update from uh, Tom Johnson and the folks in the UK, which is basically just you know this week's update is basically it's out there. Um, and uh, in fact, like their list of blockers is no blockers because we're we're collecting stuff from the community now. Um, Next week, we'll update you on how that's going. Um, but uh, you guys remember the Arena Commander rollout? Uh, you know, we, we get feedback based on the load testing and we, we up it to whatever the next level, the next level. Um, I don't know how soon we're, you know, we, we don't know how soon we'll be able to go to the next PTU phase, which is 20,000 users. Um, hopefully soon, um, fingers crossed. But uh, reaction is so cool. Uh, it's, it's awesome seeing people play that, stream it. Um, and yeah, thank God we didn't do an NDA because uh, you, you, you see 2.0 and you finally get it. You're like, oh, we've actually done this thing. It's pretty neat. So watching people discover they can sneak into other people's ships and yeah. take off with them. Yeah. It's Grand Theft Star Citizen. <laughs> Built quite a playground. There's lots and lots of work to do, but uh, you can really see it coming together. Yeah. Um, just, just I, I, you know, I go out in the PTU, I say, you see, okay, now we, we've created this environment and rapid amount of time. Now we do it a hundred more times and link them together and uh, we just have more and more systems. Um, it's, it's very, very exciting for all of us. Uh, and meanwhile, the guys in the UK are starting to burn down for Squadron 42. Um, so it's the next six months are going to be pretty cool. It's very cool. Very cool. We start Monday at the new office. Yes, uh, our new office. Um, Stacy came by and let me approve my uh, little map of where my desk goes in my office and get my own office finally. Three years, I live in my own office, very excited. None of you can use it. 
Oh, so you're not sharing with Sandy anymore? No, Sandy's in the one next door. So. Oh, yay! So it's all, all Ben. I got like a Mad Men liquor cart and some model spaceships. You need, a, you need, I even drink. Uh, you need an old fashioned globe. Yes, that, that opens up, up and there's oh, the, the, boo, yeah. the booze One of thing in the side. Yeah. 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 So if anybody out there has a booze globe, please send it. <laughs> well, on the way to on the way to Austin, it was in it's in this month's current Sky Mall, and it's only four hundred bucks. You can get the vintage ones for less than that. Probably. Maybe, but it's Sky Mall. <laughs> please, no one go to the Sky Mall and buy that. That would be Sky Mall. Didn't Sky yeah. Mall recently go out of business. Yeah, the Sky Mall went out of business. How does it go? No, Adele like Adel, 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 Adel made a song about it. Look, it's toast. Yay! I was toast. waiting for the Adele reference. Good. We're all we're all happy. Yeah. We're all happy. If any of you have just are just joining Reverse the Verse for the first time, Reverse the Verse is the Cloud Imperium Games community team's weekly informal live stream. And this week may be a little more informal than normal. We just did our three hour live stream yesterday. We're kind of burnt. Um, but happy. Uh, yes. Oh, we're, we tried to get Star Wars figures made of ourselves this weekend. And yeah. You guys did. <laughs> yeah. We tried. So yeah. there's some flaws in the system. Yeah. Uh, targets in Southern California are testing this thing where you go and you get your face. It seemed like it was just taking a picture of your face, but it claimed it was face scanning. And it puts the, uh, puts the face on uh, a stormtrooper or a Jedi or whatever. Um, the first problem we ran into was that you can't actually. Yes. Well, that Let's get a comparison here. Who is that? that? That's me. <laughs> this is me. This is me as a Jedi Knight. Me. Oh well, no, our pictures looked exactly the same. Yeah. Our pictures looked exactly the same. Uh, so the problem, the additional problem was that when you went to print out the uh, receipt to actually pay for it, there was no printer on the machine, so you could email it to yourself, uh, but it didn't actually send the email. Uh, and when you go to the website of the company that does this, they don't seem to acknowledge that they exist. So um, it's been problematic. I emailed their CS department the other day and have not heard of a response. So we, we cannot in good consciousness endorse the machine that makes Star Wars action figures easy to target. Yeah, I'm sure everybody was wondering about that. I'm sure you're the only- gonna get our endorsement, but. I'm sure you're the only person who put that much effort into getting a crappy Star Wars action figure toy. Crappy? That thing was That's bad. That's a high quality $60 action figure. A $60 action figure? <laughs> My space trooper comes today, by the way. Uh, hey, Justin, what did you do this last week? Well, I did, you know what, I'm really proud of us. Can I just say that for a second? No. Okay. And if so. you're gonna ask, I'm gonna tell you no. <laughs> Because I think the live stream was so awesome and I'm even it more proud because like 85% of the videos came from us and weren't outsourced. And I thought that that was really cool that we were able to put together all the videos that they saw and they were really awesome. I hope you guys love the character pipeline video, the interview video, some of my favorites. Um, we worked hard on it and I'm like really proud of us. And, and that's what spent the week doing. You know? And a special shout out to Mr. Thomas Hennessy. Um, you know, when, when we sat down to look at this live stream, he was adamant that we do it differently than, you know, you normally we, we put a camera in the conference room and Chris sits there and we talk for three hours and, you know, we'll, we'll stream in some content in between. Uh, he was adamant we wanted to do it with multiple cameras, we wanted to have a handheld camera, we wanted to have multiple locations. Um, basically, just to prove that we could when we do bigger events in the future. Um, and he and Jared, you know, spent all night setting up sets and getting the logistics worked out. Uh, they, they both did a fantastic job. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yes, Both Tom Hennessy. We should absolutely do this different. Let's do this different. Jerry, Two figure it out. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm really proud of my team. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. There's a lot of good energy the entire day yesterday. Yeah, before, before there, and after the stream. So. Yeah. And the camera up to our oh. uh, yeah. highlight. We didn't have any <laughs> decorations, so I took one of those three balloons down here, and it 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 oh, no. it escaped. <laughs> Oh, it did. Oh my God. <laughs> so we're leaving yes, a little done. present for the. It's, uh, a, it's like a very poignant image yeah, to leave on. This is hard to do. I think. You can't really see it. No, can't really see it. But there's a three up there. Mm -hmm. Here, let me fix this. There we go. Hi. No. no. It's better. Isn't it? We just made somebody throw up. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. So now just planning for next week. Mm -hmm. Another week. Mm -hmm. More, More videos. videos. 
I got it into a magnificent thread last night with people talking about all the art they're working on to decorate the new day theater. It's going to look a little spare for a couple of weeks, but uh, they've got some fancy stuff planned. Yeah, it's <laughs> new office is going to be ready 100% on Monday. We're going to move in and it's going to be a lot of blank walls and some walls will still be missing. But a blank wall is simply a canvas for creative folks such as us. Um. <laughs> Allie, what did you do today? Did your new album drop? I know! Okay, so since I started here, don't you guys agree with me that Ali looks like Adele? And I wanted to say it since day one, but I just figured if I brought it up enough that somebody else would say it. <laughs> you just it. talked about Adele casually enough. <laughs> and then, and then finally Ben brings it up yesterday <laughs> after five months. <laughs> Of wanting to say something. Because you never know how somebody feels being like compared to somebody right. else, you know? You know it's like. I, Adele is like very pretty. Adele so is life. Cool with that. She's life. And her album comes out today, so make sure you guys all go out and get it. <laughs> I endorsed it. I'm like tracking it all day. Oh, it's, man. It's you on sent an MP3 to, to our Skype group earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the day after Allie and I got married, um, as newlywed couples do, we went to the Baltimore Aquarium. <laughs> um, and at the end of the day, we went to their, their like, snack shop to get a uh, warm Pepsi and the uh, the lady at the counter just lost her mind because she thought it was Adele <laughs> buying warm Pepsi yeah. at the bottom of her aquarium. <laughs> it wasn't. It was not. No. Anyways. Did you ruin it for Yeah. You should have just been like, I am Adele. Like, yes, give me my Pepsi. Shh. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Can I have the Pepsi for free? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when the sky falls, it really crumbles. Uh, but crumbles are delicious. Week, but what I did this week was uh, I worked with uh, Benjamin Fardell, Turbulent, to get all of the discounted merchandise set up for you guys, which is on the site now. And we decided to extend that. We were originally just going to do uh, 48 hours for that stuff, but we're extending it uh, through next Saturday. So. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was pretty much my week. Yeah, I, I, I work on playing the big sale, writing a lot of stuff. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, if you want an Explorer ship, today is the day to get one. Um, and we're going to have a different one of those every day. In fact, as soon as this is done, I need to sit down and write the next couple of posts <laughs> so Turbulent can uh, add the skews and such. And uh, they're saying you look normal after the paralyzing anxiety that you had yesterday. I think that was just your sickness. Yes, I, I had a little flu. Uh, we ended up replacing a good amount of my uh, blood with cold medicine. Yeah. Um, so I only remember flashes of the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also apparently had long conversations with Allie last the <laughs> night before that I have no memory yeah, your, of. Yeah, your NyQuil, end of the night NyQuil conversations were happening when you should have been asleep already. Um, but you were just like fighting, fighting the medicine to... Have ridiculous conversations with mm -hmm. me. It's a good time. Uh, do you want to talk about the Avenger pricing? There's been a lot of questions about that. Uh, well, there shouldn't be any more because we fixed it. Um, the Avenger should be priced correctly now. The uh, Titan is supposed to be the cheaper one. If you bought a more expensive Titan, um, we're going to give you store credit. If you would rather have that refunded in cold, hard cash money, we will happily do that as well. Just let CS know. Um, please be patient. Yes. Please be patient. Please yes. be patient. It's going to be a busy week. Uh, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, there, there were some wires crossed, as there always are with something that's complex, uh, and the, the skews got messed up. But they should be correct now. Um, everybody should be happy. Um, hooray. You can also just, it? yeah, if you, you can also just melt it and buy it again. And, Yes. But again, that would be a store credit thing rather than cash money. Hey, Ben, have you gotten any messages for people asking you to manually add them to 2.0? I have gotten roughly 7,000 <laughs> messages. Um, guys, one, one of the things we were very specific about for this is the list was generated by uh, DevOps or you know, live, live Ops in Austin uh, based on uh, folks playing Arena Commander, folks doing web reports for 1.3 through the Issue Council. Um, it can't just be spamming them either. They have to be corroborated, helpful ones. Um, 
I've heard some people objecting that streamers get priority. May I remind everybody that streamers actually play the game a lot, so the data they auto-generate is considerable. Well, based on the number of streamers who have been messaging me, you know, talking about how we've ruined their lives, um, they don't get priority. Um, yeah. you know, we would love to give it to everybody, uh, but we are not, you know, there, there's not a special exception for streamers, there's not a special exception for anyone else. Um, it's folks who help test right now. And it's, it's going to stay that way, uh, you know, it, it sucks. I know everybody wants to stream it and share it and show all the new stuff right now. I, I would love for that to be possible, but um, I would rather be working on the game that sticks to its guns for, uh, you know, doing this right rather than doing it for publicity. Yes. Um, but uh, there, there are a couple of streamers who are also big bug dudes. Um, and, shut up. And uh, so there's folks out there streaming and there will be more shortly. All right. You, know, wow. you, can't, you can't buy your way into the PTU. It's, it's like heaven. It's like heaven. It's, it's easier. Like heaven, oh, so be, okay, so you it's easier work. for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a streamer to get into 2.0 PTU. <laughs> I mean, okay. we, we love our streamers. But that's you, a you guys do an amazing job promoting the game, but this is not the part where we need to promote it. This is where we need to fix it. Uh, and by the way, thank you to everybody who is out there fixing it. Um, you know, obviously you can see how cool AC 2.0 is. You can see how much work we need to do to get it uh, working. Luckily, with crashes like the ones we're seeing, it's usually a pretty quick fix. It's it's the stupid little stuff that takes forever to fix. It's you know my ship throttles slightly wrong. That's you know you you end up having to take apart the engine and reconstruct it. Um, but with you know latency and optimization, it's it's a good bit quicker. Yeah. Uh, oh. So much so that we're confident we can move right now and have the bug smashers back up Monday. I saw an e-thread this morning where they, they were discussing about the order in which components should explode after a ship explodes. Like, because when you, when your ship gets critical damage and it's, it's ready to explode, all the individual components make their explosions. If you saw our uh, ATV 2.2, we had Matt and Thierry on, and they were talking about you know adding tech in so that it determines if you're out of fuel, the fuel does not explode. You know, so I mean, they, they, they're working on rendering all this stuff one, one super accurate. It's, it's awesome to see them get through this stuff. All right, well, it's 11.20. Oh, one small announcement. Never um, mind. We are going to be expanding the uh, referral, referral program. program. Um, new awards include one for, what did we end at, 42 last time? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think we only went up to 20, 20 or 25. Okay, public, so there's going yeah. to be a 42 reward that I believe is a racing pack with a racing ship. Uh, there's going to be a 100. We'll get the exact ones out to you, but uh, it's basically there, there's a <laughs> Don't 42, to anything he's there's saying, a 100, yeah. there's a 250, and there's a 1,042, which is access to the uh, Million Mile High Club. Um, and you know, we, we know we already have one referral guy who's at 100, so uh, he's going to get the rewards that have not been in the system yet, and uh, everybody will be chasing that 1,000, hopefully. Uh, like there's an Endeavor down. pack in there somewhere. Uh, so big, bigger stuff for bigger... Uh, Referral pals. What's the thousand going to be? Thousand is access to the uh, Million Mile High Club. There's only a handful of backers who have that right now. It was in one of the very high priced early packages. Um, but if you refer a thousand people to Star Citizen, we, uh, you're cool with us. <laughs> we what? <laughs> Justin will come to your house and mow your lawn. Yes, yes shirtless. I really enjoyed the uh, Million Mile High Club piece that we showed yesterday. You did? I did. Good. Yeah. Good. It was really cool. And hey, look at this. Oh, yeah. We got the actual uh, final version of the concierge black card, which unfortunately are no longer for sale. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Look at what you can't <laughs> buy. They were up for sale <laughs> last week. Um, they're in production right now. So. Like we so are hoping, if you ordered one, we're hoping to have those two guys, uh, like maybe February of next year, they'll start shipping, January, February. So if you're one of those people out there who's always said, man, <laughs> I wish my wallet was heavier and had this extra yeah. stuff that doesn't They're actually very sleek and kind of lightweight. Can, so you, tr can you fly with those? 
You can fly with it. Yeah. But yeah. uh Yeah, it's not it doesn't have a sharp edge or anything. It'll probably Because I, I now I'm afraid to have anything metal in my wallet after you got like almost taken in like you were nasty. Yes. We, we were we were pulled aside because of uh metal like vintage metal <laughs> toy soldiers one year. Because of course I was. Yeah, that's <laughs> such a Ben thing. I almost missed my flight by the way. <laughs> so I had a bottle opener in my wallet. I mean, just look at this. You don't even drink. Drink. I don't even drink. He has a bottle opener. Anymore. Would you feel safe on a plane with him? I went on a plane with him and I didn't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made anybody feel safe in my entire life. All right. Hey, Hennessy's here. Hi, Hennessy. We were praising you earlier. We, yeah, we were. Your, uh, leadership all your achievements. Making the live stream better than it needed to be. Your Oscar oh, nomination. Your <laughs> superior comp game skills. <laughs> well, that's very praiseworthy, too. Someday, six foot me. I want to see that one on Reddit, guys. You know what? I've been studying. It's the uh, the part uh, of the ring toss. The how to like some of the kind of the. the physics. Are you gonna try and win today? It's all physics. It's all physics and science. And so, if you enjoy physics and science like I do, you enjoy carnival games. So. You know, thinking that a carnival game is all physics and science kind of ruins the fun for me. Does that make me a nerd? No, it doesn't make you a nerd. Okay, but, I could tell you but, what makes you a nerd if that's what you're curious about. No, I, yes, I, go do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is the point on Reverse the Verse where we start taking questions from our <laughs> live chat. Uh, if you'd like, please preface your question with the word question in brackets so it helps us easily pick them out from the, uh, the din of other conversation. And end it with a question mark, because that's just good that's just question. Good. What? Good grammar on the internet? Uh, Someone has to stand up for it. Actually, yes. Would it be possible to get a loner Andromeda for those of, who own the Phoenix? Uh, it will be possible in live 2.0 uh, DevOps controller, live ops controls the rules there. So we'll pass that along. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're thinking right now. Uh, but yeah, the Andromeda should end up being the loner for most, yes, for most large it definitely ships be. when it goes to live. Yeah. We don't have as much control over the uh, PTU environment because. No, we control everything about the PTU. Message us, we can put you in. Oh, God. You know, and I, I feel very badly for the streamers. I feel very badly for all, you know, my friends and, you know, family I've made who, have, who want access in right now. I, I feel bad saying no. I feel, I feel less bad when it's people here who are like, hey, everybody wants to play the PTU. Can you let me in? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. All right. We announced PTU was, we were going to PTU during the live stream. Like, that was when everybody found out. The live stream ended, and three minutes went by before Omar Oweda saddled up next to me and goes, Hey, uh, how do I get into the, 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 the 2.0? I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, man, can you, can you, can you get me into 2.0? Yeah, so when it comes to our, from our own people, we're, we're, we're less... <laughs> hey everybody, it's Sandy! Hey. Thank you. <laughs> how you doing, Sandy? Good, how are you? Good. That's on my, oh no, it's not. It's on the screen. Yeah? Look, there's stuff on your screen. Oh yeah, it's, it's dirty What's screen. What's happening, guys? What's happening? Anything exciting in the world of Star Citizen community? Um, yes. What? <laughs> oh, you know I'm what? I'm not asking you. I'm asking, I'm asking, uh... God, Ben. Yeah. Oh, my pet is out of order. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You gotta watch my feet wearing. there. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're rolling close you to my toes. <laughs> Speaking of which, we hit 95 million a little while ago. That's pretty yes, fantastic. Oh, I was going to save that, but I wasn't sure if we could. What? You got Where? the hat for it. I know. Yeah, I know. How can you wear a money hat? Let's money. talk about it. I was going to say 95. Woo! <laughs> Uh, as always, thank you guys. It's See, people are asking. Everything is happening. Everything. Uh, easily the most common question, Sandy, is what is on your neck? Oh, that was a fake tattoo for an audition that I did uh, over the weekend. Um, a lot of people were concerned about that yesterday. I know. No, <laughs> there there was some thought that you were going to reveal your tattoo live during the stream. <laughs> yeah. And not real, but um, it booked me the job, so that's a good thing. Why is Sandy so happy right now? That's Why am I happy? Yeah. Why are you happy? I don't look very good if you look under the sunglasses. 
but okay. No, you're good. I went to, uh, went to, uh, um, what well, was my wedding anniversary okay. yesterday. You're married? I know, right? Look, did you see? Is it me? I'm actually wearing my ring this week because, you know, just in honor of our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Uh, um, but last night I had to go to dinner with an a our partners at AMD, so. Nice anniversary dinner with yeah. the guys at Advanced Microdynamics. Always working. I know, right? Always working. Uh, I got some nice flowers from Chris, though. You saw on, on uh, Twitter. Yeah, that yeah. was adorable, by the way. They're, they're good flowers. People, I don't think people realize how sappy Chris is. I know, Chris is very sappy. I'm, I'm, how sappy is he? Oh, no. We don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else? What's in here? This is a chai in here. I told Sandy about cold brew coffee Oh my gosh, today. I've never heard about cold brew. Who know? <laughs> hands up if you know what cold brew is. Oh, what well, hands up doesn't work. It's no, cold. I was asking I don't know the what community. Cold brew is. Posted on Facebook, the flowers. The flowers I posted on Twitter. Twitter's a fl flower platform. Yeah. yeah. More than I figured Facebook. it was better on Twitter than Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't see any questions for me. I'm going to exit if no one cares. I, oh, we do have a HOTAS question. Oh, Will yes. the HOTAS be available with just the number pad thing and not the whole keyboard? What, wait, what? The, the HOTAS you can buy step, but stand alone. Yeah, they're asking if you can just buy the number pad part and not the whole keyboard. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll find out. We'll yeah, you know. we will. I know that, well, the keyboard, yeah, I don't know. We're ju we were just going down through all of these details today when we're talking about a, that it's a mechanical keyboard and the specifics of a mechanical keyboard. So does everybody know what a cherry mechanical keyboard is? Yes, they're the best kind of keyboard. Yes, however, that's not the keyboard that you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> I use an M-type IBM keyboard at home from 1980-something. What? Doesn't oh the God. Cherry keyboard have the clackety-clack, though? Yeah, it's the mm. loud, loud keys. Right. So uh, this is the same mechanical, but it doesn't have clackety-clack. Is that the clacking? Yeah. yeah. The silenced keyboard. Yeah. For top-secret gaming. <laughs> so, yes, the... the I don't know about that number pad thing, but uh, we are definitely going over the specific specifics. I can't speak today because a couple of press outlets would love to publish it, and we so that thread has been going back and forth this morning. And the uh, expensive hotels, I saw a question on that, is still coming. Um, that'll be coming later into the year next year. But for now, it's the hotels and keyboard. Um, and I still think they want to do the mouse and headset option, um, but we were kind of not as wowed by that. Not to, no offense, but, you know, every, well, it's just like there's a lot of headphones and, and mm -hmm. um, mice out there, so it kind of feels like. I have a feeling we're going to do the first one, they're going to be amazed by the numbers, and they're going to do stars and everything. If we let them. If we let them. So the ones that we'll have available for pre order Pre-order in December are which? The regular HOTAS, okay. the 149 one, and then the keyboard. A lot, a lot of people have been asking, is it reversible for left-handed people? They move the thing. I haven't tried it. It's another thing to put on the list. I know, they generally You're do. You're left-handed, right? I'm left-handed. Yeah. But you know, when I went to Razor, and they did this, they gave me all this left-handed um, peripheral stuff. By the way, if anybody from Razor is <coughs> on this thing, thank you for all the Razor stuff that I got sent. I got like all sorts of goodies mm -hmm. that I'm going to share with the staff because I don't need that many things. Um, but, uh, but what were we talking about? Quick, uh, tell me. Which, they were asking if the left-handed... Oh, uh, yeah. So I, yeah, so I was at Razor and they gave me all this left-handed stuff and I said, oh, that's great. You're selling left-handed products. And they were like, yeah, it like, was a real flop for them because like only what, like 1% they had so much stock left over. Mm -hmm. I know, it sucks for us lefties, because they say that there's only 10% of lefties in the world, mm -hmm. and then I think there's actually, like, less. Because yeah. I don't know, because where is that? Do you know what I mean? Like, how are you getting the stats on that? Mm -hmm. I don't think, you can't have it on your birth certificate. So how are you getting stats on, yeah. like, how many people Hard are Hard to track. I guess they just ask in school when they figure, how many left-handed pairs of scissors do we need to buy? But that's what I'm saying. So what's the sample <laughs> they don't, they don't statistics? They'll check after that, I guess. Well, that's what I mean. What, so what's the statistics on saying 
Yeah, ten percent are left-handed. Where are they getting those stats from? Yeah, I was born left, forced to use right, so now I'm clumsy on both sides. I'm My very concern. meta this morning. You know, <laughs> I love that. Did anybody see the uh, Mark Hamill interview that I did? No, yes. we didn't see that. Well, apparently, I don't know what SW means. That's what the joke was. I what? was like, really? What does SW mean? I know. That's what. Southwest. Southwest. I know. <laughs> Yeah, it's just quite, that was quite funny. No, I didn't know that was Star Wars. I've um, never heard Star Wars called out loud as W. Not out loud, no. It has more syllables than Star Wars. <laughs> uh, it's not an effective abbreviation. This, this is bad abbreviating, people. SW takes a long time to say. By the way, if anybody out there is an actual airplane guy, how do they handle the left-handed uh, setup in a real jet? Do, do they make like 10% of F-16s for uh, left-handed people? I don't people? think. Wouldn't that be nice? No, because like if you're driving a car, mm -hmm. stick shift, they don't do anything for, I mean, you gotta kind of be <coughs> ambidextrous in a right-handed person's oh, yeah, world. Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, everything's for all you righties. Uh, what else is happening? Oh yeah, the French. Apparently I speak French now. No. I didn't a few days ago, but now I do. It's amazing what can happen. <laughs> no, I, I did that, that French in interview too. And I, I did, yeah. I had exactly I the same problem. Because uh, I can speak some French. I, I lived in France for almost two years, but I don't know how to say anything really to Star Citizen. Like, how to, like oh, how, what's the Arc Star Map and online Well, metals. that's the thing. Is the French interview I did, I could, you know, yeah, great, I can converse in French. And then they start like, and so, how do you think uh, the audience will respond to the drop of 2.0? And how do you see the market demographics in the future? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to ex explain that in English easily. Oui. Yeah. So, um, but I learned French in a French school um, when I was a kid at the Alliance Francaise and also um, when we lived in Paris. I think I saw that as a question. I'm not just saying it. <laughs> Bragging about French. Well, I live in Aix-en-Provence, and I went to school in Marseille. I love Aix-en-Provence. They have great food. Oh, it's a beautiful city. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. Great food. I've been to Barstow. Oh, my gosh. Last night, they were talking about getting Chris on a moped. Can that you would imagine be, Chris on a moped? That would be amazing. Going right? from Barstow to Vegas. <laughs> That's what they were trying to get him to do. And then he said, he said, he said, the last time I was on a moped, it was Richard Garriott's, and I went right into a fence. <laughs> I was like, what the? Why would, That's why I'm the one with the motorcycling license, and he's the one that won't go anywhere near it. Why would you moped from Barstow to Vegas? I don't know, but that was the plan that they have for the new year. And I'm like, I'll film it, and I'll see you there. You know what I mean? Did Chris well, lose this a bet? needs to happen now. I don't know. Obviously. It was just very... <sighs> I could see Chris and Richard Garriott having like a race around the world of some sort where they ride in like steam-powered balloons. I'm sure I could get Chris on a moped, but I think it would be very funny and I don't think he'd do very well. I'm sure uh, it's okay with the insurance people to follow that up with a minivan next. You right there, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> just making some noise. <laughs> Taking out his frustration on. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Lord British's moped. Yeah, I know. I wish I had footage of that. How funny would that be? Uh, All right. Yeah, I, I remember when I, when I was in Austin that first year, you know, Eric Peterson would tell all these tall tales about the. Glory days when they were all, you know, 20-somethings and partying and having this amazing time with, you know, Richard and all those other origin guys who were really successful early on. Every single story would end up that they got into a fight because they were playing Risk. <laughs> so. uh, that's, that's a game I don't like playing with Chris. I've never played it. I played it once and that was it. It's the same with Ben and I. Oh, yeah, that could ruin a, yep. a relationship. We didn't even finish the game. No, <laughs> we didn't either. The I'm thing at risk that. is your relationship. <laughs> it is. It is. It totally is. Did they make Star Wars risk? Yeah, they made Star Wars. Don't they make Star Wars a, everything. Yeah. What's the one that we have? We've got Mass Effect That's risk right. for some reason. We have some novelty risk game as well. Somebody was asking what kind of motorcycle I had. I had a Kawasaki Ninja, and then I got rid of it because I figured it was kind of a little dangerous. It was a little... 
crotch rocket. <laughs> you would look pretty cool on a motorcycle. Yeah, huh? I see that. You would look cool on a motorcycle. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. Kind of a Tomb Raider vibe. I, I enjoy it very much. Well, I don't have as big a bazooka as that. But. <laughs> well, hers are just like progressively getting smaller as time goes on. Yeah, so. that was not appropriate conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I did start it though. That's my. That's my. Fault. But when, as soon as you say that Tomb Raider, that's all I think. Yeah, of. Well, that's all anyone thinks of. That's what. Yes, that's that's it. Hey Which, guys. Yeah. By the way, let, let's reboot Tomb Raider as like a pulpy nineteen forties <laughs> thing. It works so much better. As a what? Like a pulpy like, she's a girl, Indiana Jones. Do it, set it in the forties or something. I don't know. Like, like an old action magazine. What are the Avenger Titan wing guns really S3 or is that a mistake? Uh, we're checking on that. I have a call in with the guys in the UK, the actual designers, so we'll let you know. Um, I think it's intentional, but we'll see. Uh, so by the way, some guns are changing. I know Chris was not happy about the uh, small guns in the Constellation. Those will be getting more balanced and larger shortly. Um, the S1s are... Actually supposed to be S2s or S3s, I believe. So we're uh, many gun changes incoming. Okay. Yeah. So I got a constellation email last night, which it was just clear that Chris must have been playing AC 2.0 live. Oh yeah, we were playing last night, and um, <clears throat> Paul was like, "This looks amazing. I mean, it just looks great. It was super cool." So I saw that post yeah. you, you you did when you were shooting Paul. Oh yeah. And, but it was only the top of his head. And I thought it was somebody's dog watching somebody play. Are you serious? Yes, I said, I said, I said why did somebody post, post a picture of, of her dog watching somebody play Star Citizen? And then I realized the dog was wearing headphones. And then I was like, oh no, that's Paul Rendell's head. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm one to talk. Yeah, he was in there for like 45 minutes. It was great. And we got a black screen and then we were like cursing at it. But <laughs> That's the Star Citizen experience. Yeah, yeah before that, it was, I mean, it was just stunning. Mm. It was fun just kind of floating about. Mm -hmm. We saw our constellation and Vanguard sitting there on the, at the space station. It was cool. All right. <clears throat> what else is happening? Will the Phoenix be sale on Thursday be number limited? I think it's time limited, right? I think it's time limited, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> There'll be a post that detail all that yeah. yes. when, it, when the time comes. By the way, those, uh, the uh, packages and such go to sale at 9 a.m. Eastern time uh, each day uh, for folks who are, I know some folks stay up till midnight Pacific to uh, get it, Carrick and such, but it's 9 a.m. Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern is what we told Turbulent. Yeah, because that's where Turbulent is. Did we tell everybody that merchandise was like 20% off and then some mm -hmm. for some things? We, we did. did. Cool. It's in the Daily Post. Merchandise is 20% off and then some. <laughs> Well, the, no, uh, and then some for some. Yeah, right? the Arena Commander and Hornet t-shirts are ten dollars. Uh, ten dollars or uh, five. It's an extra small, but I believe Hornet sold out of extra small. So yeah, and then the uh, people were wearing them as uh, to the gym. Yes, as um, Under Armour. You know the tight, like thermal kind of t-shirt. Yes, I believe it was somebody from Test Squadron that posted about that. I saw it on. Yeah, Reddit. and then suddenly all these extra smalls were gone. <coughs> Alexis yeah. and I were like, what's happening? So thank you for, yes. for well working done. that thank out. That was good. Much. Good thinking. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then, the, yeah, the Constellation models are $80. Mm -hmm. so they're pretty sweet. Because once they're gone, yes. they are gone. And then everybody's going to want them, like the hoodies. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. People only want them when they can't have them. That's right. Uh, we got the little prototype for the 3-inch model this week. Oh, yeah, we got that. Um, the USB stick has been prototyping as well. Uh, what else do I need to push forward? Uh, the box mod, uh, actual mold itself is in process. I am <clears throat> going back and forth with the UK guys on the, C the audio CD, uh, old school CD for the box. And uh, what else is in there? The making of Star Citizen picture book. Um, Star the, map. S Star map, yep. Blueprints. Uh, some who, what, what? Blueprints. Blueprints, yeah. So, reminds me, I'm going to talk to Josh Coons and Chris Smith because once the new colony's finished, then we'll have a new blueprint. Hooray! Yay, and that will be all five blueprints. Boom, 
Uh, somebody was asking if there will be CCU to the different Endeavor variants. There aren't Endeavor variants, it's just the one Endeavor. Yeah, there's just the one Endeavor. Um, you make your own variants by picking out pods. So CC yourself to the base Endeavor and find the pods you want. Yes. And uh, CCUs for the Avenger variants, I don't think those are working at the moment. I've seen a couple of reports about uh, that. Uh, would you get on the homework term yep. after this and let them know? Yep. Do, 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 do. The high-end hotas, I think, I believe, is around five hundred and fifty dollars, but I have to confirm that it's not going on pre-order in December, though. Okay. It's going to be pretty fancy, though. Uh, question: Carrick white box video, like with the Crucible? Um, well, Possibly. I can talk a little bit about that. Uh, the Carrick is actually, uh, now that the Archimedes is done, is going back up to Gurmuk for some interior love. And we will follow that process as it happens. Um, so he's going to be specking out the interior. Um, it's probably actually going to look a lot cooler than a white box video because it's going to be lovingly detailed. But we'll be sharing that as it happens. I think it'll be his, his first task at the new, uh, new office. So expect to hear about that. Sugar, I just mi realized I missed a doctor's appointment. Okay. Sorry. Better <laughs> <laughs> call them and say, you know, it's those silly things they, they ask you for insurance or whatever to like, I have been to a doctor for a decade. Yes, we would finally some carrot love indeed. Carrot love, yes. <laughs> carrot hi. Um, when is the no. carrot? When's that on the schedule? Why it's right on now. sale right now. Well done. <laughs> that was done. very cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody out there remember Privateer where you would go to the ship dealer and you have to talk to the guy? You want to buy an Orion? I'm telling you, you do. Back then they didn't have professional voice actors in games. They just used people from the office. Um, wow. So their, their salesman guy was great. If half a chicken lays half an egg every day and a whole chicken lays a whole egg every other day, how long would it take for a monkey with a wooden leg to kick the seeds out of a dill pickle? PTU is out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's see. First I thought that was the start of a, uh, you know, those tests to see if you're smart or not. <laughs> I think that's every test. No pun intended. No, some tests are to see if you're a replicant. That's true. Tell me about your mother. No. <laughs> it's not the time. Uh, and definitely not on camera. Uh, let's see, what else we got going on? I got a mohawk. <laughs> Just thought I'd share it. Counterpoint, no you didn't. I did, I did, I did. In game, I got one. Oh. My character. Oh, it's nice. 42 got a mohawk. I finally <laughs> got my, I have been wanting a mohawk since I was like a kid. Seriously, a mohawk on my motorcycle? I just, that would just be... You're like the original Mad Max uh, yeah, lady. Yeah, I love to, but my hair, my hair doesn't lend itself to mohawk activity. I love you so much, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things we want. Here comes money. These are the things we want. Here comes money. <laughs> oh, Justin, never mind. No, Justin oh. wants to be a uh, fashion. I well, did. he is. He's fashion extraordinaire. Yeah. I have never seen <laughs> such amazing. Because he's. I said I've never seen such amazing fashion. He said, "Well, I've never been to Austin before." <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Justin? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Uh, hey, Ben, can you tell us anything about Reliant variants? Reliant variants, um, we actually just closed them out. They will be one of the next things we offer, maybe in December. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dave Hobbins was doing, he did the variants himself. Um, we wanted to make them look distinct, uh, and you're going to see them real soon. Uh, this has come up quite a lot of time, quite a lot throughout the chat today. Why do the Avenger variants look exactly the same as the original? So the Avenger variants are, in fact, uh, modules similar to the Retaliator. Um, I tried to explain this yesterday when I was hooked up on cold medicine in the live stream. Um, basically, <clears throat> in the future, you'll be able to have one Avenger, and you can say, oh, I want the cargo module, or no, today I want the uh, 
EMP module or the prisoner module, uh, that system does not work in 2.0 right now. Uh, right now it's whatever ship you have on your account is one that will appear. So we're only making them available as whole units. But uh, do not buy more than one Avenger uh, because just buy the one you want to try out right now. And uh, in the future, you'll have the option of uh, getting the other, you know, Avenger butt chunk for it. In the future, it'll follow the Retaliator model. Well, there'll be a base and then you'll have modules. It's just we wanted to test uh, EMP in 2.0, so we need to get a playable version now. Well, by the way, one thing I thought that was really cool um, was the fact that we did not make the... Uh, we did not make the stalker the base. Uh, you know, that's the one everybody already had. It's, it's mid-range, so you'll actually, when the price is right now, you'll actually save some money if you want to switch to the cargo instead of the bounty hunter. Uh, not unlike what we did with the Constellation. Yeah. Although nobody really wants the Tarsus. Taurus. No, the Taurus sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the worst true. You're, pitchman you're, ever. <laughs> no, your game needs ships that aren't as good. Uh, yes. you, you develop the world. I, I, I remember pitching the... We specifically pitched the Taurus as the iPhone C of uh, spaceships, so nobody actually wants the stupid plastic constellation. Au revoir. Au revoir. Turbot's going to email us Jeez. in like an hour. Everybody Not started melting their Tauruses. What did you do? Hey, I like the Taurus. I like the Taurus too. It's, it's you know it's supposed to be stretched in this box truck. Yes. By the way, does anybody know about the Penske game? No, Penske because it's game. something your family made up. Your family made up a game? Yes. So I wouldn't hear. When you're out driving and you see one of those yellow Penske trucks, or a white Penske truck, which is known as a ghost Penske truck, the person who calls it gets one point. When you see another moving truck, such as a U-Haul or a budget, you get to take away one point from another player. Um, that sounds incredibly stupid, but it is very, very it's addictive. It's high stakes when you're actually in the car playing it. Yes. yes. That reminds me of that, that game, with the buggy game or whatever, where like you spot a car and mm -hmm. like you... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. no, that sounds like fun. Well, it comes out of that time in DC when uh, there was that guy going around sniping people randomly. And uh, the police were like, oh, there's a white box truck that they're in. <laughs> and suddenly you see that there's white box trucks everywhere. Um, that's the psychological basis for the Penske. Game. It has a Facebook group, uh, group run by my brother. <laughs> really? Please join, um, play the Penske game. We should go on a road trip somewhere. I agree. No. I agree. I think that'd be so much fun. No. Family Wait, road trip. How much fun did we have no. traveling together to yeah, Austin? I think the four of us no. had a blast. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Really. Lando is from Star Wars. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Tom? <laughs> Why would you want to go on a road trip? Because it's fun. It's so much fun. It's We're fun. It's road trips are overrated. All right, so Tom Hennessy is not going on a road trip. Yes, because he's, he's always trip. a conundrum. It's 12 hours of sitting in the car being bored. How is it 12 hours? We haven't even said where we're going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> road trip is less than 12 hours. It's a really road trip. Oh Imagine all the places we could see and stop to at. Get and... So you're so going to take the long way and run. You know what they around. say, happiness is a journey, not the destination. So it's about... You know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no! <laughs> no! Oh, I forgot that Lando was in Star Wars. Okay, listen, it was a kid's show, and I wasn't sure what was happening. Oh my god. That, that is the quintessential Justin Wait, quote. I, okay, I, it was a kid's show, and I wasn't certain what was happening. Listen, that came out wrong. Okay. No, that came out exactly how it was supposed to come out. Uh. If you're just joining us, you're watching Reverse the Verse, the Cloud Imperium <laughs> Games community team's weekly informal live stream with the fans. Emphasis on informal? <laughs> the emphasis is always on informal. Yeah, we're having fun this week. We're very happy. We're, we're excited we got 2.0 out. Uh, everything's great. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying a goofier episode. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a more relaxed uh, oh. episode. Yeah. Lando didn't fight Rocky. That was a okay. that was Carl well, he, Weathers. Yeah, that, that, that well, uh, Justin. Uh, that, that Carl guy. Weathers was Apollo Creed. Are you sure that wasn't La Lando? Was in Star Wars? Listen, I mean, who, someone else had to be shocked that it just came up at random and you were there. Uh, uh, that that start with it. Wait, <laughs> shocked that we were watching Star Wars while playing a Star a Star Wars game. An adaptation of The Empire Strikes Back, by the way. You were surprised that Lando was in The Empire Strikes Back. 
I'll tell you a true story. There was once many years ago, about 10, 10 to 15 years ago, I was looking for a place to live. A buddy and I were, we were trying to find a, a cool place to be roommates. We found, an, a, we found an old, rundown, abandoned church that was for sale. And we were like, yes, we'll buy a church and we'll live like in the old rundown church. And we, and we, we, we got inside uh, because one of the windows was open. And right above the front door in the church was a gold gilded frame with not a picture of who you might expect to be in there, but a picture of Carl Weathers, which is what <laughs> reminded me of this thing. And I'm like, this is a church with a gilded picture of Carl Weathers above the door. You know this what? is the place we want to buy, and we could not convince the people to sell it to us. It, it's, it's the single, it's the th biggest regret the of my life. The church or the picture? They wouldn't the church. Sell the church. They, oh. they, they wouldn't sell the church cool to us. In a church. That's I mean, what like, I thought. Like Carl's, well, Carl Weathers is a, is, a, is a great human being. He played Carl Apollo Weathers Creed is and uh, Charles Peterson, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. By the way, I believe I, you played in the NFL before that. So I, I just got some uh, potentially good news from uh, Mr. Aaron Roberts. Um, it sounds like they have a new PTU build that's going to be patching later today. And uh, no promises yet, but it is looking good. And we may be able to add another uh, chocolate of people. Uh, for the weekend, so we're uh, pursuing that now, and we'll let you know. Chunklet. Chunklet. Cool. All right. Thank you for that <sighs> <sighs> so if you're lucky, you'll be in that chunklet. Chunklet. Um, a chunklet's like what? Five people? <laughs> yeah. What is a chunklet? Uh, yeah. Is that the actual like word? That about was five thousand. No, I, I think know. that was just a bend. Uh, a bend. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A, a chunklet is five thousand people. Why is Lando constantly yelling this episode? This episode? Lando he yells, yells all the lot. time. You guys just aren't here to hear it. He also sings a lot. He sings a lot. He's mean to Justin. He's mean Justin to Justin just all the time. All yeah. the time. Hey, I gave you compliments yesterday, didn't I? He did. And I, I was actually, I was like, that melted my heart. Yes. And, and, and earlier in the week, I, we had a heart to heart where I gave you more compliments. He did, he yes. did. And you are nice to Justin. you're bragging about them on stream so everybody knows. Because you brought it up. <laughs> By the way, up yours to the AMC Santa Monica 7 for somehow not having Hunger Games. It doesn't have Hunger Games? They don't have Hunger Games. It's weird. They're, they got that Stefano's right there. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh my and then he makes fun of me. Oh, my God. Like, Stefano's is this pizza place that's, like, inside the... AMC. So why would they be hunger? <laughs> hunger Games. Well, <laughs> why would they be Hunger Games? Uh, we have to go to the new Santa Monica anyway to see it. So yeah, we have to test the Santa Star Monica. Seven. Oh, is it open already? Well, it opens with, it opens with, with today. Oh, wow. yeah. cool. I was opening today. I yeah. saw a sign saying the twentieth. Today's the twentieth, right? Yep. Today, yes. a lot of amazing things are happening. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a good day. It's a good day. Can we get a Skyfall watching party? Nope. Yes! No. no. Nope. Yes. No. Okay. Do people like Skyfall? I did, I, you know what? I did like the movie and I don't understand why everybody hates it. Because I, it's terrible. Watched, watched uh, here comes Tom. Here comes Tom. Are you talking about Skyfall? Yes. It is one of the worst films ever made in the history of the <laughs> You know it's what? not I wrong. Like that film so much better. I'd say it was called The Dark Knight. Oh, I'd say yeah. it's a When the sky movie. falls, it was gorgeous. It's, I thought it yes. was gorgeous. really so, crumbles. But... It's terrible. It's we up. have fun. <laughs> Listen, I think Skyfall. Like those old Mexican Telemundo B suits when you say that. <laughs> It's it's one of those films that you see and you never forget. Yes, I never forget the <laughs> that's, horror I experienced watching the most convoluted, true, horrible plot. First, it was a children's show, and I didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> Has the community team been drinking today? Uh, no. <laughs> I think we're all, you know. We're tired. I think we're just yeah. yeah. Yesterday was like, you know, th those live streams, they're, you know, they're just, they get your energy going yeah. and you're, you know. To be yeah. honest, today has the feel of the last day of school before It does. Summer. That's yeah. exactly right. We finished right. our exams yesterday. All the desks are being packed up. Um, you know, we got good report cards. We made some spaceship. The analogy is breaking down. <laughs> but this is the day when, you know, it would be a half day and we'd watch like the first 45 minutes of Fern Gully on a VHS. And uh, let's do that. Home Alone. We, we should watch, watch Fern Gully. Right, well, and, 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 and then I, I feel like the kid who, who has to go to summer school, though. So, I know. That's, know that's that's Tom. Tom's know, like, so like he has summer school, <laughs> has summer school. And we're going to Paris or something. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> you went to a lot fancier high school than I did. <laughs> and I went to it in France. <laughs> It does feel like the last day of school. Hey Toast, what's your lawyer in today? Hmm? You lawyering anything good or? Uh, this is literally about garbage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the garbage contract. It's that guy. By the way, if you too would like to work here at Cloud Imperium Games, you can go to cloudimperiumgames.com slash jobs and see a lot of new job postings for all kinds of positions we're adding. I'm told we're especially desperate for those two 3D artist positions, so if you can 3 and D, then we want you to art for us. <laughs> Here's some designers. Hey, guys. Howdy. You feel like Hi. the last day of school to you guys? <laughs> yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of weird feeling. Like, oh, uh, we got to leave today. Goodbye, hmm. place. It will be strange not coming to this office. I'm curious how many times yeah, we'll drive to, the old, like, to this place and we'll be like, shit, we don't, we don't work here anymore. It's guaranteed to happen to me. <laughs> yeah, for sure it's going to happen. <laughs> has, has it only been here in Santa Monica? Mm -hmm. this, uh, yeah. Uh, well, we started off in Austin. Yeah, but the LA office, but the has, LA always office been, has always been here, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like the office that built me. <laughs> oh, I think originally it was like Chris's home office. Everybody would meet there. And oh, yeah. You look at the old videos, it's all like Chris's. Yeah, the old, uh, what, the, um, the, the Admiral level Skype chats all happen in his desk over there. Yeah. Oh, Zane! Get, Hi, Zane! Down here. Oh, oh, Zane's getting ready to move to the UK. This is. Oh, right, stop by. Yeah, when do you go? It's here. like real soon, isn't it? One day. Oh, oh, so this is, this is the last, this is our last Zane day? It this is. is our last Zane day. Well, From now on, I'm going to have to bug Zane online. I, I, I can't go over there and put them anymore. You're going to have to stay up till 1 in the morning and talk to me. Um, get staying up till 1 in the morning is so hard, though. I, I have a good authority time. that we'll be staying up <laughs> more time in the UK this next so year. We do it every time. Yeah. <laughs> Should be easy. Yeah. <sighs> oh, for those of you say, uh, uh, praising the repair post, that was Todd Pappy, right? Mm-hmm. Repair post? Because he's Todd Pappy. Nope. <clears throat> Yeah, someone made a comment was, on the Twitch yesterday being like, I love I didn't my body. I know I could be this disappointed <laughs> in you. It was more than a post. It was really nice to get that, that repair stuff out. It's been a, been a very long road of like revisiting our components, revisiting our ships, revisiting FPS and how these things, all, repair touches so many things. Yep. It's this incredible nexus of like interaction. So it's, uh, it's really great to have that actually out and yeah. All right, guys. Well, yeah. that about wraps up this Reverse the Verse for Friday, November 20th, 2015. Our last from the old office. We mean it this time. They're taking everything away yes. today. Uh, when you see us next, we'll be in the new office. Uh, next week is, uh, is a holiday here in the U.S., uh, but there will still be an ATV for you on Thursday. Uh, it'll involve two segments filmed in Austin that focus on character animations. So uh, look forward to that. Can we and take live Q&A next week at all? Uh, yes, Possibly. Yeah, we have. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what condition the new office is going to be in. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we actually talked about doing RTV from home next week on our day off. So we'll, oh, we'll be there. No, I mean like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we could maybe do a bit of live Q&A. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, to go with the we were doing Q and A posts for the ships, so definitely work that out. Assuming you have an internet connection. Cool. I have a new thing to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Community manager Jared Huckabee. That's Ben Lesnick. That's Zane. By the way, look, people on Twitter are complaining that we're not on topic today. We <laughs> <laughs> were live stream yesterday. Yes. Uh, that's Zane. He's going to Manchester. That's Kalex and Randy. They're coming with us to the LA office. Toast. He's my roommate. Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> and Justin. Sandy's over there. On top of that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>